We're in a Windows 2019 server in Internet Information Services, and we're going to show you how to change the allowed bandwidth. So if you want to throttle the bandwidth of a website so you don't end up giving away all your bandwidth to, say, one of your websites. You can see in here, I've got two websites. Well, what if you had 50 or 100 websites, and one of the websites was more popular than the others, and the others weren't getting any of the bandwidth. So we can fix that up pretty easily. In IIS, just right-click on the website where you'd like to throttle that bandwidth and go to manage website and go to advanced settings and in advanced settings we're going to go down to the very bottom where it says limits so you can see the maximum bandwidth and the maximum concurrent connections and I'll just expand that a little bit and the maximum bandwidth that you see here is a really long number but what it comes down to is four gigabytes so if you don't want to give up four gigabytes of your bandwidth to any particular site then you can change that to some, something much less what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete the last three numbers and what I just did was I minimized it now to four megabytes so now only four megabytes worth of bandwidth is going to go out from this particular website you could just erase this all together and put in whatever number that you would like. Remember, this is in bytes per second. So you can always use a calculator by going to google.com and just type in however many bytes you want and have it convert it to megabytes or gigabytes. You may also decide you want to uh, limit the amount of concurrent connections. So let's say that uh, you don't want to have that many possible connections. Let's just minimize and delete that, I should say, and change that to a thousand concurrent connections or maybe even just a hundred. And that way we've now minimized the amount of bandwidth they can use as well as the amount of people that can connect at any time. So when you get to that 101st connection, they'll just get a timeout message in their web browser. So that is how you minimize or throttle the bandwidth as well as the concurrent connections in a 2019 IIS server, and it also works on older versions of Windows Server as well.